Because today we're going to talk about Bonn, France. All right, so I'm going to start creating these vlogs on the regular now. Um, I have a lot of uh, video content that I don't use and I think it would be really great to put that out there for you all as a resource. So through these vlogs, I'll be talking about the destinations that I'm visiting as well as travel topics that might be important to you or I think that you might find, help, find helpful. Um, sometimes it'll be like this, I'm sitting in a room and sometimes it'll be rough and thrown together from video footage of me on the road. And sometimes the audio will be, re audio will be really great and sometimes the audio will not be really great. Anyways, the rough around the edges videos are pretty cool and I feel like it's a very genuine way to, produ to, to present my travels to you and hopefully you'll find them helpful. So today, like I said, we're going to talk about a town called Boon and I am probably butchering that French pronunci pronunciation to all the French people out there who might watch this. I apologize right now ahead of time. I know that your language is very important to you. Unfortunately, I don't speak it, but I'll try my best. I do love France and this little town is one of my favorite towns in France. It's located in the Bourgogne region of France also known as Burgundy in English. And um, this region is famous for two things. It's wine and it's mustard. You might have heard of the mustard that they produce in this region because it is Dijon mustard. Everybody knows of Dijon. You've probably seen that commercial for Grey Poupon where he asks for Grey Poupon. Um, anyways, the best mustard in the world comes from France. And this is my favorite brand. It is. Um, it comes in these little stone crocks. It doesn't cost a lot and it literally is the best mustard in the world. Of course, you can try all kinds of different um, mustard producers products while you are in Burgundy. Um, but what they're most famous for, of course, is their wine. Burgundy wine is world famous and it is delicious, but we will get to that in one second. Now, the, <clears throat> the town of Bonn is beautiful and let's talk about that for a bit. It is made up of a walled section of the city and this walled section is filled with all kinds of medieval um, buildings and um, cobblestone streets and that type of thing. It's a really beautiful city to explore. Um, there are so many different little nooks and crannies that you can check out and um, museums and there's also just these amazing street shots like this one that is just um, perfect for Instagram. You'll love it. Um, one of my favorite things to do there is to visit the Hotel Dieu. I've actually been to this town twice, once alone and once with Alfred. And Hotel Dieu is this hotel that was built in the 1400s as an almshouse, a public almshouse. So basically a hospital for the poor. And you can explore this museum and see how life was back in the day for poor people, at least in this hospital. It was way ahead of its time because every every um sick person got their own bed and their own space and they all they were all fed um white bread which was considered like the superior bread of the time um you can check out the the, the kitchen area which is absolutely incredible totally would have loved to have this kitchen myself um which is fascinating because basically back in the day they believed that hot foods and cold foods um help make you better and they have classification for it and depending on what ailed you you would it would basically determine the type of diet you were fed but this place is beautiful you have to go check it out and what's most beautiful for of course are those beautiful beautiful um tiles that are typical of burgundy architecture so definitely have to check that out if you get tired of walking around the city of course there are like a hundred different wine shops in the city and each wine shop is basically owned by a winery um, that is located outside the city. So not only only can you visit wine shops and have wine tasting in the city, you could actually visit the wineries outside the city if the weather is good enough. <laughs> My favorite wine shop is located right next to Hotel Dieu. It's called Marché au, au, au vin, au vins. Um, but anyways, that just means the wine market um, or the market of wines. And it's really cool because it's the wine shop itself is set up in a in like a 13th century church. It's no longer a church, but you pay for um, a wine tasting anywhere between four to something like 16 different wines that you can taste. And then you go on your own. They send you down into the cellar and the wines are all sitting on tables in different little stations. They have information there. You try the wines and you move on. And also in the cellar, what's really cool, something that I really liked was that there is a Merovingian king's sarcophagus in the cellar and you can just walk up to it. It's pretty interesting 
to like just walk up to this ancient sarcophagus that basically at one point had a king inside of it. Um, it's just hanging out in the cellar, but when you're done in the cellar, you go upstairs and there's like an entire art gallery, more wines to try, and you can really see how this building used to be a beautiful church. But uh, the town is absolutely gorgeous and um, there's lots to do. One of the things you can also do is just eat some really great French food. Um, Burgundy is known for its French food. You might try beef uh, bourguignon, which is beef, beef burgundy. Uh, famous stew, uh, very, very good. And almost every restaurant serves it. So you can have fun trying to figure out which restaurant serves the best. But um, the food is excellent. And then if you are a little bored of the, of the town, you can totally head out into the countryside, tour some wineries, or one of the things that I saw that I want, really would like to do is go on a truffle hunt with a guy and his dog who can hunt truffles. Um, and once you're done with hunting the truffles, they prepare you a meal that is truffle based. So it's kind of awesome. In any case, it's not that far from Lyon, um, France. Lyon is about an hour and a half to two hours by train and then not far down the road or down the track as it were um, you can get to Dijon which is a big city with um, that's totally worth exploring as well so if you're heading to France try to leave Paris and go somewhere else I mean Bonn is a bit of a commitment because from Paris I think it's around a seven hour train ride or a three hour car ride but um, there's so much more to France than just Paris so you're definitely going to want to check out Bonn because it's stunningly beautiful um, it's just a great example of a nice small French town um, so anyways I hope that you guys uh, enjoy these vlogs um, sometimes they'll be short sometimes they'll be long uh, and they will get better with time as I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to be presenting this. So uh, until the next one, I'll see you later and chase that rainbow.